So, look, um, two head coaches hired yesterday, D'Amico Ryans in Houston and Sean Payton in Denver. Right now, I want to linger on Sean Payton because he's the one with the Super Bowl ring. And I'll be honest with you here, didn't think Sean would say, I'll go to Denver and pick up the pieces of what was clearly broken all over the floor, Russell Wilson and that contract after what we saw from Russ last year. And head coaches have that I alone can fix it Mm -hmm. gene. Certainly alpha head coaches, which is pretty much every head coach, or alpha head coaches with Super Bowl rings like Sean Payton. And when I heard this, I thought to myself, they had to have paid him a mint of money. A mint. And then I sat here and thought to myself, who better to fix Russell Wilson? And that's what needs to happen. Fixing needs to happen. Whether it's what you see on the field or what you think he does social media-wise that runs a little bit a foul of what you think a top-notch, grade-A, elite quarterback should be doing with his spare time and the whole let's ride stuff and whatever. If you think that needs fixing, I think Sean Payton is exactly the guy who can sit him down and tell him what he needs to hear. If you think Russell is one of those quarterbacks that needs to hear something, and I think I've just described uh, most everyone who observes the NFL that Russ is a quarterback who needs to hear something, and Sean Payton is exactly the guy who can do it. And in terms of fixing Russell on the field, one thing that Russ needs to do is he needs to be schemed properly so he could see down the field. Guy's 5'11". That's why I think he's better out of the pocket. That's why he's better moving. I think he's more comfortable moving. I think he can throw a beautiful ball on the run. And he throws an incredible deep ball. Superb when he's in the pocket and protect. So that's first order business. Got to protect him. But secondly, who better to do that than a guy who took a quarterback at six foot flat, if that's what you believe Drew Brees is, mm-hmm. and molded him with a system and coaching, and surrounded him with a team that's putting Drew Brees in the Hall of Fame as a first ballot Hall of Famer, which is exactly what Russell Wilson wants to be. It kind of meshes. Russ, you want to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, right? You want to be the guy that was me- that, that makes a difference? We already know you make a difference in the community. You have that beautiful patch, that Walter Payton Man of the Year patch on your jersey. Let me help you get that first ballot Hall of Fame, but this is what you got to do, A, B, C, and D. I think Russ listens to that guy. And I think Peyton believes he can do it no matter how much money the Broncos have sent his direction because he knows that contract, that's not going anywhere. Russ is going nowhere. So if he's going there, he believes he can do it. And in terms of the Broncos' ownership that's new, Paying them all that money, whatever it's going to be, I think we're going to find out how much it is, and we're going to go, how much? It's not my money, and they've got a ton of it. So for them to come in and say to the Broncos fan base, last year stunk, it's never going to be that way again. We're hiring the best available. We're paying him an insane amount of money. Doesn't matter. We want to win here. All of it together, the way I've just described it, a home run of a hire. Home run. Touch them all. Like Coors Field. I think it's great. I can't wait to see it. I think Sean... Pe- By the way, you could just... You could you could already know that you, you don't have to hire an in-game coaching help manager. That's done. <laughs> a guy who decides to onside kick to start a second half of a Super Bowl. That guy, that guy's got his finger on a pulse of game management. So, is he perfect? Of course not. But what a hire. Sean Payton versus Andy Reid. Twice a year. Mahomes and 
Russ twice. And this is the Mahomes Russ twice a year that we've been looking forward to. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.